Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ted here with 4-Minute Film School. Today we're going to be talking about the seven basic kinds of gimbal motions, when to use them, and how to do them. Today I'm here with Casey. Casey is a professional gimbal operator living in Los Angeles. He has a ton of credits, so look at the last videos where we're going to be showing those credits. Um, but let's get right to it. Absolutely. That's so, true. what is the first type of gimbal motion? So, your first one is going to be the push-in or the pull-out. Okay, so the push-in or pull-out. What is that doing? Um, so, when you're pushing in on a subject, typically what you're doing is you're trying to draw importance to it. You're also trying to reinforce some emotion or tone that you're filling out with the rest of your cinematography. Mm -hmm. So, you could push in on someone that's you know very pensive and thinking about something. And right, and then you give some sort of importance to that that time being spent. Mm -hmm. uh, likewise, if you guys have seen the movie Inception, there's the part where he spins the top and we push in on that top and we're emphasizing what is what that top means. What yeah, exactly. Gonna exactly. What's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have your pull out that can be used to simply reveal an area or space, but also to make somebody seem isolated or alone. Mm -hmm. uh, what is a booming effect normally doing? So a booming shot is typically where you're just raising or lowering the camera on a vertical axis. That's the entire goal is you're bringing that camera to a new elevation to reveal something new or to explore more of your scene. Okay, so reveal something new. What kind of effect is it normally having? What kind of in like a movie? Um, so a lot of times what I'll see is let's say a character's like crawling over a mountain mm -hmm. and then there's a city or an oasis or an ocean on the other side. It's more fun to be with the character and as they crest the, the mountain, you boom up and then reveal it for the audience. Gotcha, very cool. So you're uh, discovering, you know, the city of gold or exactly. you're climbing over it and there's a huge cliff down there. Um, so those are great times to use a booming shot with a gimbal. Um, third shot, what would the third shot be? Uh, third shot is your truck, your dolly, or your slide. It's a lateral movement to keep the subject framed or you know, just establish more of your scenery by simply moving from side to side. So number four is your following or your leading shot. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas with the push in or the pull out, you're moving away or towards your subject. This one, they're coming with you. So you can either be in front of the subject as they walk towards you and you backpedal, mm -hmm. or you can be behind them for a following shot and follow them as they continue their path or their motion. Or orbit shot. Just imagine that your subject is the sun and you're the planet. You're just simply going around keeping your focus on them. You're focused inward mm -hmm. and that gives you this great effect of their background just constantly shifting and changing. You're getting an entirely new perspective. Gotcha. And it's really dynamic, very high energy. You yeah. see it a lot on music videos. So what, how's a rotate different than an orbit? So rotate is in the same essence as an orbit, except instead of being focused inward, you're focused outward. Okay. So the camera's more of a nodal point where the action is happening around it. So it'll stay somewhat in a stationary position, but will pan around to reveal a space or explore new things. I see. So as opposed to before, where kind of the subject is like the sun of the universe, exactly. and you're flying around them. This time you are the sun, yeah. and you're looking out at the planets around you as you're spinning. So another kind of movement is the tilt. That's where you're starting on a particular frame and tilting down to another or tilting up. So this can be used from going from somebody's phone or change they've dropped and they're picking it up and then coming up to their face to reveal their emotion mm -hmm. or from say coming down from a plane dropping bombs to the city that's exploding in fire. So the tilt is used a lot of the time to reveal new information and it actually shows the geographical location difference between point A and point B. So those are the seven basic kinds of gimbal motions. Now what's so cool about gimbals though is that you can mix and match them. Yeah, we can link these together or we can start off with one, transition into another, mm -hmm. and really get a long, fluid moving shot. In fact, I would say every gimbal motion you do is gonna be some combination of these seven basic movements. So there's your episode of 4 Minute Film School. I'm Ted from the A-Team. And I'm Casey. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment below or contact us from our social media in the description box. So tune in next time, shoot well, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.